Happy Wednesday. So when challenged, when, when you're challenged, what happens? For me, a myriad of things happen. Sometimes I get resistant, I get defensive. Um, those are the instincts that come up because generally anything that, I, that I'm creating, I have a feeling or personal relation to. I didn't spend X amount of time dialing it in. I, don't, I do my best to not dial it in. So, but what I have learned over the years is those feelings that are coming up, the discomfort, the resistance, the defensiveness, to just be with it. Because generally any feedback that I'm getting, whether I agree with it or I disagree with it, it enables me to look at what I'm saying or want to say or the ideas I'm presenting or, and this could be anything, whether it's a, a, an art project or a piece of writing or a thesis or whatever. The constructive criticism or just hatred <coughs> or resistance that I'm getting, if I ha it, it forces me to own what I am and who I am. And for me, if, if, I'm, if I'm rooted in my integrity, I want to, it helps me streamline. It helps me refocus what I want to say. And sometimes it takes me years to see and get refocused. Sometimes it takes me days. Sometimes it takes me hours. It, it, does, it doesn't matter as long as if I am focused on the greater good of the project and the integrity of the project, as long as it gets refocused and I'm, you know, if it, as long as it's getting me refocused, it's serving its purpose to, you know, the resistance helps me refocus. It's interesting. That's the process. That's a process that I go through creatively. And it doesn't, it, it's not always comfortable, but that's the amazing part of it is that I'm like, oh yeah, that's happening. That's helped me. Thank you. Grateful for the resistance. I'm grateful for someone taking their time to tell me what they think. Whether I agree with it or not, it's helped me claim what I am, who I am, what I'm saying. Much love.